Good afternoon, everyone, and happy Monday. I hope your week is starting off right. It is a warm start. We have temperatures out there sitting in the uh, 80s this afternoon. They're going to eventually rise into the lower 90s, and we also have a lot of haze in the sky for today. Some of that wildfire smoke that we've been dealing with from Canada off and on over the last few weeks is back in the region, and that's one of the reasons why you may notice some of that haze out there for today. We also had a little bit of cloud cover earlier on, but uh, much of that cloud cover has now kind of fizzled on out. So we'll continue to have uh, the hazy skies this afternoon. Be ready for that. We're also going to have those temperatures rise. Take a look at the time lapse this morning. Looking out across Atlanta, you do see that the uh, hazy skies are just kind of sticking around and really it doesn't look like we're having much of a motion as far as the time lapse is concerned. But yeah, it's moving. It's just you're not really seeing much sunlight in the sky there and really not seeing the cloud cover much because of all those hazy conditions. Looking out across the city, man, to imagine Imagine that this wildfire smoke is traveling all the way from Canada and you see the impact that it's having on our sky. Looking towards downtown, you can kind of see all that smoke in the sky. Looking up towards the Circle 75 office park, park and then out towards uh, the uh, Georgia 400 uh, Northside Hospital area. You see that they have the uh, hazy skies as well as at the airport, but it's not impacting any of the flights out there at the airport. That's the good news. Looking at the uh, upper level pattern, you see that we have the winds coming again more out of the north and west, and that's what's bringing down some of this uh, smoke that we've been dealing with, kind of dipping down into our region here. You see this big dip in the jet stream. Meanwhile, well off to our west, I want you to look over here towards the Four Corners area. That's over there by uh, Air. Arizona, New Mexico, Colorado, Utah, you see that big ridge. They're dealing with huge heat out towards the west. Uh, and we are, while we're hot here too, we're nowhere near as bad as what they're dealing with uh, out there towards the western half of the United States. Now, as we head throughout the next uh, couple of days here into Tuesday and Wednesday, notice that we're going to have this trough of low pressure move back off towards the north. That's going to make our winds to come a little bit more out of the west, and that's going to stop our wildfire smoke from being as much of an issue. So expect a little bit of a clearer sky for tomorrow and then even clearer as we head throughout the day there on Wednesday. Now we were talking about it around noon today. I was on for 11 Alive at noon here on Monday and we talked about how the air quality was going to possibly dip down to that unhealthy for sensitive groups range. We now have an air quality alert in place for the Atlanta area. At first, it was just for far northwest Georgia and into the Chattanooga area, but that air quality alert has now been included for us as well. Still only at a moderate uh, air quality level, but we could see that uh, worsen here as we hit throughout the next few hours. Take a look up towards Iowa, over towards Illinois, down into Missouri, Indiana, portions of Wisconsin, and uh, up into Michigan. You notice the air quality is really bad for them, unhealthy and then also unhealthy for sensitive groups. So not good for them. Unfortunately, it looks like our air quality could go down too. Just try to limit that out time outside for this afternoon because of that. Taking a look at satellite and radar, we had that little bit of cloud cover earlier. Now all that we're dealing with is pretty much that smoke overhead. Uh, you see that we have a partly cloudy to mostly cloudy sky. That's actually just the uh, weather station picking up on that fog outside. So temperatures rising into the lower 90s today. We're already at 89 and I want you to keep an eye on that humidity. The dew points are way down with the dew points being so much lower. It does make it feel a little more comfortable outside, I guess you could say, but it's still pretty much summertime in North Georgia, so you may not notice it by much. Don't forget to download this 11 Alive app, by the way. It can be great to have throughout the summertime whenever you're headed out there in the lake or anything gives you a live looks at the radar whenever you're on the go. It can show you rain when it's raining right now. No rain out there. You can also get updates on the hourly forecast, the daily forecast. You can watch the newscast live right there from your phone. Great to have. Head on over to the App Store and download it. You can also download the Roku and Fire TV app, the 11 Alive Plus app. That way you can get extra updates on news and weather stories that you want right there at your fingertips. Extra updates like the one you're watching right now. Great to have both for your mobile device and also there on your Roku and Fire TV. So the humidity, it's down. We mentioned that a moment ago. Remember, over the weekend, we had dew points all the way up in the 70s. Now we're down into the 60s for dew points. Today, it's kind of still mid 60s, but tomorrow we're talking lower 60s for dew points, which is still humid, but it's a lot more comfortable than what we had over the weekend. And uh, it's feeling a little bit better out there. The only catch is that when the dew points drop and we have less moisture in the air, we end up having more of a fluctuation in temperatures. So it's also going to get really hot. You're going to see that in our 
temperatures here in just a moment. You also notice as we head throughout the next few days, the dew points are going to go up. It's going to get humid again. It is summertime in North Georgia, so that's not out of the normal. It should be humid. Looking at the high temperatures over the next five days, you see that we're going to hit 97 there for Tuesday. Again, that drier air. The drier air for Wednesday, too, also allowing us to hit 97. 96 on Thursday. And then as we get a little bit more moisture in there, and then also going to be impacted by a little bit of rain here and there, you see that we are going to have some uh, drop in our temperatures down into the lower 90s and then upper 80s even by the time we head into Saturday. So going to cool off a little bit after a big rise in temperatures here over the next few days. Forecast track shows that first of all, we pass through the next couple of days here. You'll see that the temperatures rising into the 90s for highs each day for tonight down into the 70s tomorrow afternoon back into the mid to, uh, to even upper 90s in some spots. Some spots uh, may even manage to, to stay in the lower 90s for far north Georgia, but most of us will be very hot on Wednesday at 1 a.m. starting to see a little bit of shower activity possible. It's become, going to be coming in from the northwest there. Still going to be dealing with off and on showers there on Wednesday. Right now we're at a 20% chance. Forecast track I think is being a little too aggressive on our rain chances there, but we may end up bumping those up as we hit throughout the next few days. For now it's 30% chance. It's a 20% it's a, uh, chance, excuse me, a 30% chance for Thursday, a 40% chance for scattered showers and storms on Friday. That's going to be our best chance for rain all week. It's going to be on Friday and then also on Saturday, we could have a few isolated showers and storms. Now we could use the rain not just to cool this off, but also we are dealing with a little bit of a uh, drier conditions right now for Atlanta. We are behind a little bit on rainfall and also it helps cool us off. Notice that uh, over the last few days here, we've had temperatures at or above average ever since back towards earlier on in July. Uh, pretty much early July is the last time we were below average there when we hit 87 for the high. Right now you're looking at a graph that shows you the high temperatures, uh, the average highs from left to right as we hit throughout the last 30 days, and then the average low there in blue, and then you see each day that's the high and low. So yeah, we hit 94 just yesterday. Today we're going to be up around there as well. Be ready for that heat. And again, we need the rainfall. We are behind as far as the month is concerned. You see that we're behind by more than an inch now and not just behind by the month, we're also behind for the year. Uh, now we're behind for the year by more than an inch, and it's not looking like we're going to get enough rain over this next week to really help that out. We're talking about a half of an inch of rain or less for pretty much everybody, and that's not going to be enough to get us back ahead. The good news is we are out of abnormally dry conditions. Uh, the entire state is, at least for now, but when the drought monitor updates on Thursday, it updates every Thursday, it's likely going to show some abnormally dry conditions back across parts of our region. By the way, this is the first time we haven't had abnormally dry conditions in anywhere in Georgia since September of last year. So it was a, a while there before we saw those conditions clear up. Talking about the tropics now, we saw tropical depression dying out there. It was a subtropical storm just a couple of days ago. Now it's kind of falling apart a little bit. It's going to do a little loop dee out there in the Atlantic and possibly strengthen again, uh, but still not expected to impact us here in the United States. We will keep you updated on it if anything changes. Don is the latest name on the list to be used. Emily would be the next name if we do have another named system. Right now, though, not looking like there's a possibility for anything to develop over the next seven days. There is a wave that just came off the coast of Africa though that we are going to keep a close eye on. Maybe it will end up being our next system. Taking a look at the tropical timeline, you see that this is still considered a fairly quiet time of the season. You know, we haven't been talking about a lot of storms ever since we had Bert and I think it was Cindy that formed uh, really uh, quickly there, one after the other. But they're going to, uh, they, they fell apart pretty quick. And uh, again, intensity and the amount of storms that we have in the Atlantic doesn't really pick up until the end of August, early September. So season ends November 30th. We'll keep you updated on it all throughout hurricane season, as we always do. Here's your seven day forecast showing you that as we head throughout the week, again, it's going to be hot today, 94 for the high, 97 for the day there on Tuesday, Wednesday, another hot day at 97. Rain chances increasing there as we head through Friday and then Saturday. Rain chances dropping slightly, 89 for the high and then 91 for the high there on Sunday, a very average day for this time of year there as we head into the day on Sunday. But what about the eight to 14 day outlook? Let's look beyond 
on the seven day forecast. Looks like a round average temperature. So that would be lower 90s for this time of year. Looks like we're going to be having that kind of heat here across uh, parts of the southeast. And then you see that we'll have a round average rainfall too, to maybe even just slightly above average, which is what we need. You know, we want to have a little bit more rainfall there to help, uh, help out the front yards, especially with how hot it's going to be this week. If you just put down new sod or anything like that, you're going to want to really run those sprinklers. Unfortunately, we're just not going to get a lot of help from Mother Nature as we head throughout this week. Looking at your weekend getaways, I know we're on Monday, but you're already thinking about it. Lake Lanier going to have a few showers and storms possible there for Friday and Saturday. Sunday and Monday looking drier. Meanwhile, Savannah is going to be dealing with storms probably each day throughout the weekend. Not going to be a washout. They're probably going to have those afternoon pop up thunderstorms here and there. Charleston going to have some similar conditions at times, mainly for Saturday and Sunday. And then Gatlinburg looking like a little bit of rain there for Friday and Saturday. But there's a lot of fun things to do inside up there towards Gatlinburg too. And then also, the mountains are always so pretty whenever it rains, right? Just be careful with some of that lightning. If you plan on doing any hiking, make sure that you have a way to receive weather alerts. Don't get too far away from that car. If there's any lightning in the area, go inside. Don't forget that. Looking at Destin, Florida, it's going to be drier there for Friday. Take that extra day off from work. Get down there and enjoy the Emerald Coast. And then you see the shower and thunderstorm activity. Not constant, but off and on showers and storms being possible Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. I want to also give you your Peach State outlook if you're traveling across the the state of Georgia over the next three days. It's hot. Look at that. 99 in Columbus for Wednesday, 99 in um, Macon on Thursday, nearly 99 there in Augusta. It's going to be hot here, not just for us, but across the state of Georgia this next week. And then finally, I'd love to show that Georgia State Park forecast to give you an idea on what you can expect here if you plan on doing any hiking uh, for tomorrow. So this is for Tuesday. Starting off the day, temperatures will be in the 60s and 70s. It is going to be, thanks to that drier air that we have in place. It's not going to be completely dry. Still a little bit of humidity. I will not say crisp by any means, but it's going to be a fairly nice morning if you want to go hike Amicalola Falls, anywhere in the North Georgia mountains. It is going to be stunning. Get out early because look at how hot it's going to get in the afternoon. Temperatures rising into the 80s and 90s. You're going to want to make sure that you pack plenty of water. I always like to say pack more water than what you think you need. That way you can be safe when you're out there hiking and don't end up in a serious situation with any heat stroke or heat exhaustion. So Again, have a great hike. It's not looking like we deal with any rain. Uh, maybe find a nice swimming hole to jump in and cool off there. Looking at the seven day forecast again, bumping everything back up to that. I hope that everybody can have a wonderful week ahead of them. We love to do these updates every Monday at 2.30 and then we do another one on Thursdays at 2.30 to help you get ready for the weekend. So be sure to tune in. Don't forget every Monday and Thursday at 2.30. We have the updates from Chief Meteorologist Chris Holcomb throughout the week every evening. Be sure to tune into his updates. You also have uh, meteorologist Chesley McNeil on in the mornings and then all the times in between you can find meteorologist Nicole Hartford, meteorologist Melissa Nord and myself giving updates uh, to keep everyone informed and safe around the Atlanta area and North Georgia as a whole. You can also get updates on 11alive.com and right there again with that 11 Alive app. So from 11 Alive, I'm meteorologist Andrew Wilson. Have a wonderful week and we'll keep you updated on everything right here at 11 Alive.